Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to reduce a fraction to lowest terms. We will simplify the fraction negative 216 over 32 to the smallest numbers that we can find. So the first thing to do is to look for the biggest number that I can divide into both the numerator and the denominator. I can see that they are both even, but I also know that I can divide both of these by 8. 8 is called the greatest common divisor, or the greatest common factor. And so I'm going to divide the top number by 8 and the bottom number by 8. The top number, 216 divided by 8, is 27. And the bottom number, 32 divided by 8, is 4. And I'm going to keep the negative sign as well. And I can see right now that 27 and 4 can no longer be divided by anything in common. 27 is divided by 9 and 3, and 4 is divisible by 2 and 2, so nothing else is in common. Therefore, I know this is in simplest terms. Now, if I didn't know that 8 went into both 216 and 32, I can start out with a smaller number. So I'm going to start with 216 over 32, and I know that both of these are even, so I can just divide them both by 2 to help get us started, and then we'll just go smaller and smaller to see if I can find any other numbers that will divide into both of those. So 216 divided by 2 is 108 over 32 divided by 2 is 16. Because they're both still even, that tells me I can divide them by 2 again. You'll see that if I keep doing this, um, I will have 2 times 2, and I will have 1 more times 2 because it's 8, and 2 times 2 times 2 oops, equals 8, which is what we divided in the first one. But we can continue doing this um, with any numbers if I can see that they're both even or if they're both divisible by 3, just to make it smaller numbers as we go along. So now I'm going to do 108, divide that by 2, which is 54. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And again, like we said, these are both even. So I'm going to divide these both again by 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And don't forget, this is negative. And again, we ended up with 27 over 4. And we discussed how no other numbers will go into both 27 and 4 evenly. So we're finished. And again, just so that you could see, 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. And that shows me that I did complete both in the same fashion, just a little different.